What's up, guys? So today we have another update. So the first thing I want to talk about is the brand new monthly perks. So whenever you log in, you will have this little new monthly or this new little message, and it says monthly boost, uh, weekly boost. For this month, the entire month of March, you will gain 50% extra invention components and 3x XP for disassembling. So if you disassemble something that would give you a thousand, a thousand corrupt components, now it will give you 1500 corrupt components. So it is a very, very nice uh, bonus. If you have any invention you got to do, this is a good month to do it. And then as you saw, the weekly bonus is Commander Zeliana, double drop rate on the rare items, and then a chance at a rare cosmetic sled. So first, let's get into bug fixes. The cannon has been fixed. It, it, uh, in the last update, it wouldn't do damage and uh, was just generally not working. And that has been fixed. Superior Slayer creatures might be fixed. The issue is sometimes they will disappear. Um, just trying to ho hopefully it'll be fixed. It needs more testing, and it's just gonna be a lot easier to have you guys, you know, do the testing, help us test. Uh, Zach and Gritch, one of the uh, Zamorak minions, has been fixed. His drop rates are now normal compared to the other ones. Dagonoth Vex now has a working attack animation. Fixed an issue with the enhanced crystallizer. The whenever you make 25, it actually required you to have 625 crystal shards instead of 125. So that's been fixed. You should be able to make those now. You can now use the bank uh, at raids in Mount Quidamorton. Lightsabers will now work against Revenant Maldictus, King Lava Dragon, and the Big Mini Bear. Revenants shouldn't heal as much. I know I've said that like three updates in a row, but hopefully that. Uh, will be working this time. Uh, tweak the code at uh, restricting pets at Zora of Warcat and God, uh, and God Wars. Uh, that one ended up not working, um, so I'm not really sure where it's at right now. Still needs some more fixing. The mole pet is glitched, but if you use a hammer on your mole pet, you'll get the updated version. Uh, it's the mole rat pet, and not the updated version, but the other version of the the mole pet. So at least until we can fix it, you'll have a working variation of the mole pet. So next up we have a balance changes. The Revenant Orc is now considered a hard Revenant. If you go to the drop table and uh, search revs, the Orc will now have the same drops and drop rates as the harder tier one. So the Orc is, you know, basically what I'm saying is the Orc is more worth killing than before. Lightsabers, the boost has been improved. If you're not familiar with lightsabers, they are uh, found in most of the chests, but you also can find them in the donator store. They do bonus damage against group uh, group bosses, and that and, and you know as I just mentioned earlier in the update, we fixed we fixed it against some of the new ones. So yeah, lightsabers do you know nice bonus damage against those ones. The ghost hunter battle axe has I mean, battle axe. I, I pronounced it weird the first time I said it too. <laughs> battle axe has been improved. It should be a lot better now. This thing should be smacking bitches. Um, what else do we have? King Lava Dragon should have more health now. It died way too quick. People didn't even have an opportunity to go kill it. Uh, blood money uh, dropped from Wilderness Bosses has been increased, and you can now get blood money from Meldictus and King Lava Dragon. Those both count. You can now trade Dark Stones. Uh, the chance that donators will receive double drops has been ingested. If you didn't know, donators have a chance of receiving uh, double items. And when I say double drops, I don't mean like his drop would be doubled. I mean like he would get two rolls. So um, if you ever kill a monster and you sometimes get two items, that's why. It's your donator and the chance has been adjusted. The uh, You can look right here. And then if you want to look at what I'm you know, reading off of, you, the links will always be in the description below if you want to check those out. Other changes, you now get 1 million cash whenever you complete a Slayer task. Now, this is not based on what type of Slayer task, so you can do easies and grind out 1 mil cash. That is a thing you can do. You now get hard clues from pickpocketing elves in Prifidinus. <laughs> More revenants have been added to the Rev Cave. Dark Crab and Black Chinchampa skilling boosts have been added to the Blood Money Shop. Ruby donators can now purchase Corrupt Leafs, which I guess I'll just go show you that since uh, there's not a whole lot to show you this update. I feel like I'm just reading off the list, but... You can purchase these, and they disassemble for corrupt components. And then a new item, the Ghost Hunter Amulet, is now available in-game. It is an upgraded, the highest tier of the Salve Amulets. And in order to get it, you are looking for three Vanta Stones. So Vanta Stones are dropped from Callisto, Venonatus, and Vedion. I'll show you what they look like. Vanta Stone, chance is about 1 in 373 or so. I think I'm a master, right? Am I a master? No, I'm an initiate. Oh, okay. So, yeah, drop, drop rate's about 1 in 400. That was what it was supposed to be. I thought it was higher. I must have changed something at the last second. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, you need three Vanta Stones. Use them on a Salve Amulet EI. And, boom, you have the Ghost Hunter Amulet, which is a 
massively buffed version, these two things together, you will shred through zombies. Or, yeah, well, zombies, yeah, undead shit. A couple more items have been made uh, disassemblable or disassemble for more components, and then I'll have those in the description below. But, yeah, kind of a smaller update. But, I mean, a lot of stuff, but, you know, smaller in terms of, uh, you know, like, yeah, what was what I'm looking for. In terms of, like, chain, massive changes to the game, like, you know, we have this nice amulet, which will help you kill undead stuff, but other than that, uh, not a whole lot. Uh, really just kind of balancing changes, getting things slowly improved, and honestly, I'm just happy this update was released on a Friday. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next week.